Friends, I'm in Cyprus right now on a school campus. It includes both a school and a kindergarten at the same time. They call all children students, uh, that is, uh, children from four years of age are also students. It's not like ours, you entered university and became a student. Here from the age of four, you're already a student. A few words about how this school is organized. Firstly, the teaching is in several languages at the same time, and the main language is English. Secondly, I'm in the center of the school, and here the teaching is divided into different buildings, which is very cool. Some people can study in one building, while others in another. There is constant shifting, there is always some kind of movement. A separate building is a cafeteria. Uh, this is uh, the amphitheater, and this amphitheater is um, the largest in the district. Performances are held there, and local stars are invited to perform here, so kids have the opportunity to immediately see, well, let's say, the big names of Cyprus performing on their stage. And over there, the little kids are sitting right now. Let me show you how the local students live. In our language, it would be more correct to call them school children. This is the boarding house. Uh, this is what the entrance looks like. Very cool. Completely new build a um, year ago. You walk right out the um, door and there are bicycle paths, which is very awesome for kids. Guys, what's the first thing I liked about this place? First of all, here at the school, all the staff and everyone I've seen on the grounds is all smiling, holding doors, communicating. That speaks of what? It speaks first and foremost about uh, the fact that uh, at the very least there is a lament of respect. It creates a certain atmosphere in the school, a cool and friendly one. The school has 140 staff members, many of whom have studied abroad themselves. Uh, the level of education here is very high. I would also like to point out that the graduates, uh, the children, go to universities all over the world. Which means that they do not only stay in Cyprus afterwards, they showed us um, the whole breakdown by students, where they went, and that's just like you point to the globe and that's where students of this school study. One more thing about food. People often ask about the meals. The meals change every day. That's the first thing. Secondly, if a child has any preferences, they give him a menu and he or she can choose point the finger at what they want and it will be cooked for them here or brought from the store. And also at school there are integration programs, uh, that is, for example, if you want to try the system, how to study in another country, how a child will feel, you can send um, your child here for at least a week. This whole program starts at the age of 12 for children. Go for it, your child can give it a try and um, then you can send your child here for real studying. Share your opinion on this school in the comments below. Hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and wait for new videos to travel the world with Snaps English.